Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jason from Straight Edge Knives, and if you watched my unboxing video, we're getting into these knives that I just recently got, and we're going to start it off with the Civivi. So I'm going to go ahead and crack this bad boy open. Kind of solid if you watched my previous video, but uh, if you didn't, go back and watch it. Uh, get a sneak peek of what's to come in future videos, but let's crack it with the Civivi. I already got the box open. Civivis always come nicely packed. Um, box, you know, just a panel box. But what's nice is they always come with these nice zippered pouches. Um, very, feels like a nice well-made pouch. Um, stitching and everything looks good on it. It's clean. Uh, whenever you open these up, you usually get a warranty card. This little Civivi, uh, I don't know if this is a sticker or not. I haven't tried to see, but it basically just says Civivi on one side and the other side. It's like, hey, love your knife, you know, share it with us on Instagram and stuff like that. Um, get a Civivi Elementum sticker. That's cool. You get a nice microfiber cleaning cloth for your blade. Of course, you get the nice belt line pouch. Your knife comes in a package, and then you have your beautiful blade. This is the Civivi Cinesis. I think I'm saying that right. Yeah, the Civivi Cinesis flipper knife. Um, I'm not a huge um, fold folding knife guy. I I'm just now really kind of starting to dive into the folding knife world. Uh, if you watch any of my previous hundred some odd videos, almost everything on there is a fixed blade knife. Um, I just, I like fixed blades a lot, but like I said, recently I've been getting more into the flippers and uh, folding knives and uh, Civivi seems like a really good company. Um, the bull master video that I did, um, this thing is an awesome knife for the price. I think this retails somewhere around fifty dollars. I mean, you can't beat it. I mean, it's just a, it's, it's an awesome knife, and I think you're getting the same value with this one so far from what I've seen. So this is the uh, Civivi Synthesis. I'll go over the um, specs real quick. I'm not huge on specs. I'm more of a this is what I think of it type reviewer, if you will. Um, it's a flipper flipper knife. It's got micarta with a steel lock side handle. I'm reading off the computer if I'm looking over here, guys. Uh, it's got a 3.7 inch 14 C2 8 in blade. Um, from other reviews that I've watched on this, um, it's supposed to be a pretty good still. Um, I'm not I'm not a huge uh, still nerd, so I don't know exactly, but it stays sharp and it cuts stuff. It works, you know. Um, I'll just give you guys the real quick, you know, length and everything like that. Uh, overall length is 8.5 inches. Width is 1.37. The overall height, including the clip, is 0 0.64. Uh, the blade length is 3.7. Oh, that flipper action is nice, too. Um, closed length, you're looking at 4.82. Blade thickness is 0 0.12. Uh, handle thickness is 0 0.43. The weight is 4.9 ounces. Um, the blade is 14 C28 in. Uh, you got a blade hardness of 58 to 60. It's a flat grind blade. You got a silver bead blasted finish uh, with a clip point style blade. And then on the presentation side, you got uh, burlap micarta. And on the lock side, it's stainless steel. Um, what else is on there? Yeah, that's about it. Uh, I can tell you right now, guys, blade is beautiful. I mean, taking it out of the box and looking at it, right away um everything looks really good the fit and finish looks good every uh the bead blast finish on this blade it's i don't besides the fingerprints i just put on there i don't see any weird markings or uh machining marks or anything like that i mean it's just a very 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 clean blade and i know a lot of people in the knife world like um clean blades except like there's no banners there's no, nothing there's a VV on there or the blade you know it's just a what they call a sterile blade I guess um, and it looks super clean and I really like it. it's got a nice little finger troll right here so you can choke up on it if you need to but I like this slight swooping belly that it has and then it's this swedged kind of clip point uh, it's just beautiful it, it's aggressive in an elegant way if that makes sense um, that burlap micarta is beautiful. I love micarta. Um, they have a few different other finishes. I think they have a, um, a carbon fiber. 
let's see here. I know there's a carbon fiber one. Um, I think there's a, sorry. I'm going to click back here. I want to give, make sure I give you guys the right ones. There's a one that's pretty much all black um, with a black handle, black blade. You have this one, and then there's a carbon fiber overlay with a Damascus blade. Um, this one retails on their website for $78.20. Uh, I'm sure if you looked around on Amazon, things like that, you could probably find it cheaper. Um, the, but this knife feels very, very solid. Um, and I'm, 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 I think I'm going to really enjoy carrying this blade. Um, it's got a nice frame lock. Everything looks really clean, machined well. Um, even on the back side here, all of this looks just really, really good. Um, from what I understand, um, all your hardware is T8 screws. If you want to take it apart, with the exception of the clip, the clip is T6. I think pretty much almost all knives I've seen so far that as I've been looking into flippers, these are T6 screws uh, for the um, pocket clip. It is a reversible pocket clip. Um, you can flip it over here if you'd like. Um, you got the nice Civivi logo, but the lock, I mean, this thing feels solid. I mean, there's no wiggle side to side, no rocking back and forth. If I close it, a little bit of work. It doesn't drop shut, um, but it closes nicely. Man, when you flip this thing open, it. first time I flipped it open, I. I thought it, I mean, you'd almost think it's assisted opening. Like, it's just, I mean, it fires out like a rocket, man. It's just, and I'm not really putting that much pressure on the flipper tab to open it. It's just, boop. I mean, and, I mean, you can hear that click. Let's do that. Oh, it's such a nice sound. The thumb, the lock bar, it's easy to engage. Um, you can get your thumb in there. It doesn't really stick up or protrude. I mean, it's, Pretty much flush right here, so it's real actually really easy to get your thumb in there, get it closed, and I'm sure as I open and close this more, this is going to get to be a, a drop shut. I could probably even loosen this pivot pin up a little bit if I wanted to to make it drop shut, but I don't really feel like I need to do that. Um, I, I mean, it fires open like a rocket, and then I can just close it normally. I know some people like to do the whole drop shut thing, which is cool. It's fine. Like flip this bad boy open, I can it and it just drops shut. This is also a heavier blade so it makes it easier to do that but I mean just bam it's just out there. It's got some nice jimping on the spine. Um, super. I mean it came super sharp. It's really sharp out of the box. Um, like I said overall the execution on this knife is just excellent. Uh, let me give you guys some size comparisons. I don't have a ton of flippers i have some that i haven't shown yet and i'm not going to size comparison those right now just because i'm going to save them for the future videos so to speak uh so i will go over some of the folders that i do have but i have the sabibi bull mastiff uh, which is a very large knife and this is a full-size knife um, make no mistake about it i have i wear extra large gloves and mechanics and you can see my hand takes up the whole the whole thing it gives you a really solid grip which is nice um, but if you take the Civivi Bull Mastiff, hold them up next to each other, I mean, they're essentially almost the same length. Obviously, the Bull Mastiff has a wider blade, but lengthwise, they're almost spot on. The Bull Mastiff is just a little bit taller because of this clip point up here. Um, and this is a big knife for sure. Um, Cold Steel uh, Recon 1. This thing is, man, this thing's like 15 years old. As you can tell, I've beat the hell out of it but this is a full-size knife obviously as well uh, you put the sinuses up the cold still is just a little bit longer the blade length see that um, close that I need to actually work on that lock it's a little sticky thing that says old beat the hell out of it it's been through a motorcycle wreck and everything uh, I have a cold still Espada the medium this is one of the older um, CTS XHP models, which they don't make anymore. A whole lot of that one for sure. But yeah, they're roughly, I'd say roughly around the same size. Uh, obviously, different handle shapes, but so end on end, standing them up, I mean, they're almost the same length, um, which is actually pretty good. I mean, as big as this, as big as this, I don't even want to say as big as this knife is. This is a full size knife, but it doesn't 
feel like a full size knife if that makes sense. And then one of my other folders that I have is the Tops Knives MSF 4.0. Uh, great little everyday carry uh, folder knife too. I'm going to do a video on this one as well. Um, this one is definitely coming in a little bit smaller as you can see. Sorry my fingers are in the way. I need to figure out, I need a new tripod so I can do the whole top down view so I can, when I do these, you can see comparison sizes a little better. Um, but yeah, um, so far initial impressions of this, very, very nice. Um, it feels super solid. Uh, the materials, everything looks very well made. I'm not seeing any weird um, markings. I'm not, like this is all rounded off nicely around here. It's got a nice little chamfer. Um, let's see if you can see that. You can kind of see how it's rounded nicely. Um, the inside of the handle scale is not skeletonized. Actually, looking at this, I would say that this entire, the entire side of this knife the whole side of this knife is just as burlap micarta. There's not actually a liner, a steel liner in on this side of the knife. Uh, and you have the stainless steel on this side. So the micarta actually acts as the entire side of the knife. Some other knives you'll get, like this one, you can see there's stainless steel liners underneath the micarta on both sides. Um, same with this one, if you can see that, you can see those black liners on the top and the bottom and the micarta sits on top um, this one uh, it's not like that this is literally just a solid piece of micarta right here and i don't think that will be a problem um, i'm squeezing this there's very very minimal flex when i squeeze this with my thumbs i mean there's a little bit but i don't think this just being micarta with no steel reinforcement there i don't think it's going to be an issue um, I, you'd have to probably land on this pretty damn hard to, to break that. Um, so I don't think that's a problem. Doesn't double check just to make sure I'm not quoting this wrong, but I'm not seeing any steel underneath this, but it still feels rock solid. So I imagine if they'd put a steel liner underneath this, it would probably increase the weight quite a bit. Um, and as it is, I know some a lot of people, veterans holding knives, don't like heavy knives for the most part. Um, what, what did I say the weight was on this again? Uh, 4.9 ounces. Uh, this comes in, I believe, at like 5.4. Uh, so this is just a little bit lighter. Um, but this feels really, really, really solid. Um, I think this is a knife you will own for a long time. Anyway. There it is, guys. Um, just wanted to give you guys a look at this. Savivi Uh You can find it at knife stores now. Um, again, on their website, it's coming in at like $78. Uh, I'm sure if you looked around on Amazon other or you know Blade HQ, places like that, um, you could probably find it a little less. Um, usually on the websites, that's the MSRP. And typically, you can find them a little less on, on websites. Uh, this, I think this is going to be a great knife. Um, that's one of the reasons why I've been wanting to get look at more Civivis is I think for the price that you're paying for these, I think you're getting a good value. Um, I I don't see like I could actually see this being a seventy eight dollar knife worth the seventy eight dollars. Obviously, you want to find it cheaper if you can because uh, in today's economy, it's always nice to have you know save some money. Um, but I think the value is there with this knife and and the way it's machined put together the way it feels the the action on it um it's got ceramic ball bearings on the inside here that it's riding on nice lock bar even like how here on the lock bar it's like milled out a little bit gives it kind of a cool looking look makes it a little bit flexible i think um damn look at that uh really nice knife um, I think you can do a lot of good work with this knife if you're, you know, out there doing whatever it is you do for work. Um, I mean, I just really like the lock up on it. There it is, guys. I don't know what else to say. I mean, um, uh, kind of gave you my impressions on it. And like I said, I'm no, uh, 
pocket knife expert as far as folders go. So I'm just coming at this with my everyday Joe real world opinion on it. Okay. Um, I think the value is here with this Civivi knife, or at least with this model and the Bull Mastiff model. Um, I've trust me, I've paid more for other knives and not had the amount of quality that's so far into this one. Um, so there it is. Civivi knife, Cinesis. Check it out on their website. Look it up at your local knife retailers. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Stay safe, stay sharp, and stay tuned for more knife videos coming soon.